You've heard the term, you've seen it written in commit messages, and maybe you've even been asked to do it, and you're vaguely aware that it has something to do with improving the quality of your code. But what exactly is refactoring? Hey, I'm Step Amit, and this is Three Minute Thursday. Refactoring is a software development concept. It's something you do to code. Refactoring or refactoring implies that we're changing the existing factorization of our code. But what is the factorization of our code? What well, do you remember the concept of a factor from algebra? Let me grab a whiteboard. If you look at this equation, five times four equals 20. 20 is the product, five and four are the factors. In other words, they are the component parts that together produce the result. But 20 can be composed of other factors as well. 10 and two are also factors of 20. And we can break either of these equations down into 20's prime factorization, five times two times two. So notice if I have five times four, I can refactor this into five times two times two, which I can then refactor into 10 times two. These are interchangeable. The structure of the equation has changed, but the outcome or external behavior has not changed. All three of these equal 20. So that's math, but what about code? What is the factorization of code that we change when we refactor? Just like with a math equation, the factorization of a piece of computer code is its structure, the composition of the component pieces that produce the code's external behavior. There are usually lots of ways to make a computer do something, and I'll show you what I mean. These two bits of code are functionally identical, but they're structured differently. As a software developer, it's your job to weigh these solutions to come up with an appropriate approach for any given piece of code. So refactoring is changing the structure of code without changing its external observable behavior, hopefully making it more maintainable in the process. If you want some concrete examples of refactoring, be sure to visit my exorcism.io walkthrough series linked in the description below, where I do tons of refactoring. If you want a deeper dive on how to approach code so that you can write code today that you won't hate in six months, leave code better than you found it, become a hero to your team and have massive value to your company, then you need to check out my tactical refactoring course, also linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.